Southeast Asia knows the impact of the climate crisis all too well. Rising sea levels, typhoons, floods, and drought. It costs lives and livelihoods. And it affects the American people as well, including in the last couple of years, we've experienced devastating wildfires in California, my home state, and most recently New Mexico, as well as our own share of floods and, and drought and hurricanes. So it is an issue that we are all concerned about and that we have experienced in a way that has caused great harm to the people of our nations. But the good news is we also have solutions at hand. And they represent then an opportunity, an opportunity to unlock new industries and economic growth for our countries. This is why together we must raise our collective ambition, accelerate the transition to clean energy, and meet our infrastructure needs in a sustainable manner. At this summit, the United States has launched a series of initiatives, and I'll highlight three in particular. One, we will mobilize billions of dollars by leveraging public philanthropic and private financing directed at clean energy and climate smart infrastructure. Second, among the many initiatives will be an initiative to launch new partnerships on sustainable transportation and forest conservation. And third, as a point of personal privilege for myself, I, I am the chair of the National Space Council for the United States, and together we will expand what we can do to share satellite data in a way that will help ASEAN nations prepare and respond to the climate crisis and the resulting extreme weather. I often note and have talked with many of you um, about our shared belief that our world is increasingly more interconnected and interdependent. That is especially true when it comes to the climate crisis, which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on to galvanize global action. With that, I thank you all. This is a matter of urgent priority for all of us, and I know we will work on this together. So with that, thank you. And to the members of the press, thank you all. We're going to now begin our conversation. Thank you. Thank you.